tutorial for animatronics. This will be the second version of it. This is a much easier version. The other one was dated too. So here we go. So what you want to do is have your model. I, this one's named Foxy. You're going to want to copy and paste it. I'm going to use Control D. There we go. And then move it to whatever position you'd like. Then you want to name it, uh, add a number in front of it. So this will be Foxy1. And you need to do it as many times as you want the animatronic to move. So I'm going to do it again. And I'll do Foxy 2. So that's that's all I'm going to do for now. Then you're going to want to get a script. Type in script in your advanced objects, which can be found in the model page. Script. Double click it. Puts it to your workspace. Opened. Delete that. So what you want to do is type what I type. While true do. And I'm going to add a time that will wait till the animatronic moves. So I'm going to put wait. I'll do 8. Page down. There we go. Enter. Then you want to type in game dot server storage dot. Um, it's going to be foxy1. Then you do colon. You want to do clone then uh, dot you know new parent equals game dot workspace that will clone the foxy one from the server storage into the workspace so you want to go enter again and then game dot workspace dot foxy and you want to destroy So what that does is it'll grab the original Foxy and destroy it, and then the Foxy 1 will be there. Then after that, if you want, this is optional, you can have a sound of movement. I don't have it with me at the moment, but I will show you how to input this. You want game, oops, dot sound, colon, play. And then you want to just go in your advanced and get a sound and enter. And there you go. Then you have to put your ID in here. And that's pretty much it for that. So you want to get rid of that because I'm not going to use that. And you can just copy that, paste it right there. And then you want to change this to Foxy2 and then Foxy1. And honestly, that's pretty much it. We will test this out in a second, so make sure you have these two that you cloned. Control X, and put it in the server storage. Control V, and that's pretty much it. We will test this right now. Here we go. Can wait, there it is, it moves. It'll move once again. And there you have it. That's pretty much the basics to moving animatronics. If you could if you want to add more you can. But yes. Oh, oh also I forgot. You're going to want to place a break in the script. So go back to your script and then right here at the very end, you want break. That will prevent the script from duplicating its uh, models. So make sure you have that. That is very important. And after that, that's that's pretty much it at that point. Not much to it really. If you want your sound, you saw what I did. Just grab your ID from it. And that's it. If you have any questions or need help, just let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to help you. And if you have any requests, just let me know. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Thank you.